It has been about 3,000 miles since I installed my Mishimoto oil catch can in this thing. Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks for tuning in. Today, I just wanted to show you guys what I found in my oil catch can. Uh, for everybody that doesn't know, I've had a Mishimoto oil catch can on my Kia Stinger for about 3,000 miles now. And over the past two weeks, probably twice, I've smelled a very small hint of oil. And so I think I was just being paranoid, but I wanted to check the oil catch can, check all the fittings to make sure that they were all tight and everything was good to go. And for anybody that doesn't know what an oil catch can is, it is basically a collector. It's a can that is implemented into the crankcase ventilation system. And so it collects all the oil vapors from the uh, from blow by in the crankcase, um, collects it instead of routing it back into the intake manifold. This can help with keeping your valves cleaner, keeping the, the head of the cylinder cleaner, all that good stuff. Um, so without further ado, go ahead and take a look. Thanks for watching. And so I'm wondering if I need to empty it. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I've heard that you should empty just with oil changes every 5,000 miles. So that's what I was planning on doing. But since I, uh, since I have this slight smell of oil, I'm gonna go ahead and just do it now. And I'm gonna show you guys so we will find out together. I got a flashlight just to see if I can see anything. I already checked, but I'm just gonna show you guys as well. Here is where the uh, PCV goes into the oil catch can. And I couldn't see anything out of the ordinary, no leaks or anything down there, which is a good sign. Um, checked over here at the actual catch can. And then over here, where it goes back into the intake manifold, uh, again, no leaks, no wet marks or anything. So that's good news. So let's pop this open and see what we get. And so we got it off. There is the top where the copper filter is. I think it's copper at least. Looks like a little cup of cup of coffee, but it definitely doesn't smell like coffee, so don't drink this. And here is the oil catch can. It looks like a decent amount and there's still plenty of room. I think it was just me being paranoid. There were no spills or anything. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it in this glass so we can get a better idea of how much is truly in there. Again, this was at 3000 miles. So stay tuned. All right, into the bureau clock glass. Here we go. Hopefully I don't spill shit in my car. All right. So that's how much we have. Again, it's at 3000 miles. So it looks like I could have definitely gone to 5,000. Definitely curious. I wanted to see what this would turn out. If I didn't have the oil catch can installed, all of that would have gone into the intake manifold. Kind of cool to see the difference that a, a preventative mod can have. So yeah, it's cool. I wanted to show you guys some of the little particles that were left behind in there. So it's definitely, good to have one of these. I am happy with the purchase for sure. And man, even if it doesn't really have an effect, it's peace of mind. Makes me more comfortable with driving it hard and uh, allows me to have more fun. And it might do the same for you guys too. So if you don't have a catch can, definitely do it. It's not very expensive in the realm of mods and it may help your stinger last that little bit longer. Cool. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Let me know if you guys have an oil catch can on your car, even if it's not a direct injection car. I'm not sure if uh, if people do that. I don't know if that's normal, but let me know how much you guys have found. Again, mine, I emptied it only after 3000 miles, but I think in the future, I'll probably do it just at the normal uh, oil change interval, which I do at 5,000 miles. But let me know what you guys have found in yours. Let me know what type of oil catch can you have. But I uh, appreciate you for watching and uh